Recently, I did a video on the CD4099BE 8-bit addressable latch. At the time, I did not have my fancy display board set up, so I did not demonstrate the chip. I will do that now. In future chip videos, I'm going to do the demonstration as part of the video. Quick review, it has eight outputs, Q0 through Q7. It has three address inputs to refer to these outputs, A2 through A0 as a 3-bit number. It has a data line. It has a write disable line, which turns the data line on and off. And it has a reset for the whole chip. And the chip is active high, so high is a 1 and low is a 0. When reset is on and write disable is on, all the outputs are 0. When reset is on but write disable is off, then all the outputs are 0 except for the addressed one, which is passing through the data. This is how you can use the chip as a demux or a decoder. When reset is off, write disable just turns on and off the setting of the current bit, and this is how you normally operate the chip as a register. So now let me show you. The first light on the left is the reset, the second is the write disable, and the third is the data. These three lights are the address bits, and these eight are the output of the register. Right now, reset and write disable are both high. So when I set the data line or change the address lines, nothing's happening, everything stays low. If I turn off write disable, then as I change the data line, it's reflected in the current bit, but if I change which the current bit is, the, the one that's reading the data, the one that's showing the data, keeps changing, and everything else resets back to zero as it passes. And then if data is zero, then of course, it's setting it to zero and resetting it to zero, so it has no effect. So that's the demux and decoder form. But if I turn off, reset, now we're in the normal operating mode. You always want to have write disable on, then you set your data, you set your address, turn write disable off, and then turn it back on. So if I set data high, and I want to change bit three, so I will take write disable, I'll turn it off and back on. And then, of course, as I change the address bit, that bit stays on. So we can do bit seven and set that to high, like so. Go back to bit one, and we can set that to high. Go back to bit three, change data to low, set bit three back to low. And that's how it's used as a register. If I reset it, everything goes back to zero. Now, to demonstrate why you need write disable to be on when you're changing the address, let's say we want to set bit zero to high. So data is high, and I turn off and on write disable. But let's say I leave write disable off, and I want to set bit seven. Well, I have to set to bit seven, but then I've set three other bits in the meantime. And this is going to happen even if you're changing the signals with a microcontroller, nothing in electronics is absolutely instant. So the same thing will happen if you don't turn write disable on. As the electronics fluctuate and the address pins change, you could set bits you don't want to set. So you have to set write disable on to change the other bits. Nice and easy. And that's the whole register. And that's it for this addendum, so I'll be seeing you.